Welcome back to another episode of In the Mind of an Immortal. Today we are going to talk about one of the suggested heroes, Grimstroke. Grimstroke was and always will be one of the best teamfight supports in the game. Because it has a lot of crowd control abilities and damage. But what he lacks is escape ability and tower damage. Let's talk about the summary of this hero. It has a strong laning phase, good mid game and a strong late game. Let's talk about the laning phase. The laning phase is pretty straightforward. If you have a melee core, you max your ink as well. You use it on your core, he jumps in, you use stroke of fate and that's an easy kill for you. All you have to do is keep the lane equilibrium in the middle or under your tower, because you don't want to force your core to tower dive the enemy. So the ability build is maxing ink swell, then you go stroke of fate and after that the phantoms embrace. In the mid game, go with your team and try to take every fight. During the fight, you can start with your ultimate, then use Phantom's Embrace, Stroke of Fate, and Ink Swell the hero which is closer to the enemy. Preferably the tank or the one who is going to engage the fights. What's good about Grim Stroke is that he has a Stroke of Fate, his Q, which helps to clear the wave from a distance and secure last hits. Whenever you aren't fighting with your team, choose a lane and just push it. This will give you gold for your next item and it will push the lane causing a reaction. So that one of the enemy will come and try to re-push it or else they will take tower damage. Bottom tower still Let's in. talk about the itemization. I started with the ghost scepter because the sniper was so fucking annoying just right clicking the shit out of me. Then I got the Arnim Scepter again for a sniper but things didn't work out as I thought so it's much more preferable to take Arnim Shard instead of the Scepter. After that I got the Aether's Dance for the additional cast range. Let's talk about the late game. The most important thing in the late game is your positioning. You need to be in the back line so that you don't get caught. The combo is the same like mid game. You start with your ultimate. It's important to put the ultimate on the important heroes of the enemy or the ones that can escape. For example, in this situation, Buck is one of the most important heroes to ult. Other than that, what changes in the late game is that you will have Aranim Scepter. So you can use your ultimate, then use Dark Portrait, and use your Ink Swell on the copied hero. After that, you just drop your Phantom's Embrace and Stroke of Fate. That's all for today. If you like this content, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to suggest a hero in the comments. Peace.